QOP, AI, are these guys about to rug pull? Well, some people think so, and some people are hoping not. But what is the truth? And what are the signs that you guys are seeing? Anyways, all of that and more coming up in just a moment. Stay tuned. Welcome to the channel. On this channel, what I do most of the time, as per request by my viewers, is I review income opportunities, systems, platforms, even training products. If it's make money online that you're after, find the subscribe button and also click on the bell notification icon. That way you won't miss out on any important info that could serve you, okay? Um, also, at any time throughout watching this video, if you're looking for a legitimate way to create a full-time income online, get access to my number one recommended opportunity underneath this vehicle, not a Ponzi scheme, real legitimate opportunity and lucrative income vehicle underneath this uh, description box below of the video. Just click the more button to get access. So on my channel, guys, I've been reviewing these type of systems heavily, meaning uh, MLM passive systems since 2017 for the past seven years. I'm not new to this uh, neck of the woods, so to speak. And people, when they want the truth, they come here when they want the sugar-coated version of the story, meaning we want to buy into something, what we want, you know, believe easy success, easy quick money, etc. Multiply your income without having to do anything. Then they go elsewhere and look for um, videos created by affiliates who are promoting these sketchy type of programs. Now, QOPAI, Q are they about to rug pull? That's what you guys want to know. Some of you are going to say yay. Some of you are going to say nay. We're going to remain positive. It's just naysayers on YouTube uh, that are going to, you know, create FUD, right? F-U-D, fear, uncertainty, doubt. Okay. Anyways, what is the truth? What is actually happening? Well, I reviewed QOP uh, AI back in October. Didn't recommend them because they had too many red flags. Okay. We're going to get into Zimbardi uh, crypto program and then... He's not the only one complaining in just a moment, okay? Uh, I didn't re recommend QOP AI back in October because too many red flags, like anonymous people, no proof of any revenue outside of network marketing. Um, they did not have any proof of any of their expertise. They were talking about AI bot and magical income, but didn't show any proof of that. They weren't registered anywhere legally, right? These are the things that we need to take into consideration when it's like improve our finances uh, and our you know financial lives and our personal lives as well because whatever you do today is going to affect your tomorrow hopefully you agree okay whatever you are doing today you are cre creating your tomorrow uh, there was another system called the Novatech FX right uh, scheme that you know ripped off to the tunes of billions of dollars from unsuspecting victims some of the people suspected that hey they were gonna rug pull but hey you know it's hot Lots of buzz going around. If we got in early, let's see what's going to happen. And then most people, I would say like 97% uh, or 95, 95 to 97% of everyone, uh, the passive people that got in with Novatech got burnt, meaning they lost more than they ever gained. Now with these Ponzi schemes, they do pay you out in the beginning. That's how they work. And a lot of the people who are new online or even some people who have been around for years and still not seeing the type of results and success that they were looking for originally come to these Ponzi schemes in hopes that, hey, that we can make some quick money and multiply our income. But it turns out that they're just, you know, online casinos, at least with a casino in Vegas, which is not online. It's a virtual experience. They have them all, you know, casinos all over the world. We have them here all over Canada. But at least with a casino, you can go there. Uh, get some thrills, some excitement. You can have some drinks, right? Even in Vegas, they allow you to smoke cigars. But online, um, it's just an opportunity, a business opportunity for what I'm normally seeing is anonymous people behind the scenes, okay? For the average person, it's not really a financial freedom opportunity. If you do not agree with anything that I'm saying, no problem. I would say the best ways to learn by your own experience, as I always say, um anyways word on the street here and based on what on some of my research well someone asked me hey rory can you do an update on it i get updates on these schemes 
um, people request me to do updates on them. I've been getting like lots, even uh, for cash effects, and I never promoted any of these. But they're like, hey, we want your take on it. So someone said, hey, this is, word on the street here is Zimbardi. Uh, that's the main guy behind, I would say he's the founder of the crypto program that recently collapsed, rug pulled, and you know, scammed a whole bunch of um, victims, so to speak. I had one fellow, I believe he's either, I think he's in New Zealand, and he used to come, uh, Jan Eglund or something like that, and argue with my videos left and right that, hey, he's going to make passive income, and he joined the crypto program. And he, I, I, I think he deleted all of his comments from my channel. I don't see him anymore. But he was like, yeah, I'm sitting on a couch eating potato chips and Zimbardi and crypto programs, 100% legitimate. Anyways, what happened? It collapsed. And what's Zimbardi doing? He's promoting all kinds of schemes, right? So he knows. Why would even Zimbardi do this? He would do this because he knows that even his scheme or anything that he joins and becomes an affiliate of, they don't last very long. So let's promote like 20 or 40 things to... I would have to say gullible people, right? You got to be gullible if you think we can just click a button, create an account, and create financial freedom. But then some people are going to say, you know, thought came to my mind here. Thought came to my mind. Some people are going to say, well, um, if we, you know, do multiple different schemes all at the same time and get in on the ground floor early, we can possibly uh, withdraw. No. These things are not made for you guys, the passive income people. The passive income people, the passive people who don't want to do nothing, you guys are the bots. You guys are like money bots that feed the program. Because outside of network marketing recruitment, right, there's no revenue going into these platforms. There's no proof of any AI bot trader. Is there? No. Go look for it. There's no proof. Okay. Um, so even Zimbardi knows, even like he, he's into a lot of scam programs and created his own scam program, crypto program. Then it collapsed, even though all those guys said, oh, it's never going to do that. Why did this happen? Why did he uh, get his account? You know, why did he get barred from QOPAI? Why did they shut his account down? Well, he claims that, or I've seen, you know, I've seen some top promoters of QOPAI openly say on their youtube channels that they have multiple accounts but they claim that zimbardi got screwed because he had multiple accounts okay one of the biggest promoters for qop ai says he has multiple accounts but how come he gets away with that he said that they're whitelisted what the what the f is does that mean whitelist how, how can they whitelist him and then they blacklisted this fellow Maybe they're pissed off with Zimbardi. At the end of the day, I would say there's a, there's another uh, story unfolding here. Can you guys guess what it is? Any more, before we get into that, keep watching. Let's just look at their terms of service. Pro pro prohibition of multiple accounts. Each user is permitted to create and maintain only one account. Okay, so you can't stack accounts. I don't want to go through all of this stuff. I'll also include a link to this. QOP AI rug pull update as well underneath this video in the description box below. For those of you who need to do more due diligence and research, I highly recommend you guys do that. Okay. I call bullshit. Okay. Uh, yeah, they don't like when you stack accounts, but they know a whole bunch of people are doing it, meaning that the small uh, army that gets recruited by the top affiliates, the top, you know, like promoters of these schemes. And admins of QOP AI and other Ponzi schemes, they know very well that top promoters always have multiple accounts. They don't give a darn about that. So why would they kick Zimbardi out? Only the admins of QOP AI would know. But here's here's my... This is what I uh, predict is going to happen. I predict that they're going to rug pull. Why? The only time that they start freezing up money and not paying out, right? Sure, multiple accounts can create a problem, but in the beginning, once the going is good, they don't really, they could care less, right? Because they're, they're fraudulent as it, as it begins with the whole thing's a lie, okay? Um, kick out some Barty. Maybe they don't like him. They know he, he promotes programs. Maybe he cross-recruits. They probably know about that, too. Of course, you probably would do that, right? Um... But I don't think so, okay? Um, I'm thinking there's more to the story, and why would this be happening? 
We'll get into that in just a moment. Okay. Uh, there's more stories here. It gets worse. Another person from the U.S., Jim says, beware of QOP. They just rug pulled my account and my family's accounts as well. Oh, and good friend's account. So he's got some family members and a friend for some BS terms reason. So maybe they had multiple accounts too as well. So it's not just Zimbardi. You can go and trust pilot and you'll find it. Okay, Joe from the U.S., check it out. Okay, um... Then there's a, another person here. So these are the signs that you got to look for, the red flag signs on Trustpilot. Trustpilot is usually a cock and bull story when they have like bots giving positive reviews as well as the affiliates who know, the network marketers promoting these schemes know in order to keep the thing going, we got to keep shooting positive reviews, especially on Trustpilot because it ranks well. And every Tom, Dick, and Harry is going to go and see what people say on Trustpilot, is it trustworthy? So it's usually bullshit until people start getting angry, and it looks like people are starting to get angry. Look at this here. QOP lost my deposit money. I made deposit this morning, 198 bucks. So it's only a $200 US tether, right, that they lost in their account. They made it. Apparently, they lost it, right? And then for whatever reason, it just disappeared. And then the company is not helping them. Admins are not helping them. They say, avoid, I recommend avoiding this company. That's what this other person says. Okay, so the real reason, why is this happening? Why would any Ponzi scheme start having trouble with paying out people and closing accounts? Well, we've seen it with the Hyperverse, Cash FX, um, Novatech FX, uh, with Novatech FX. The reason I'm saying these big name Ponzi schemes is because they're still fresh in the mind of many people here in the La La Land of Ponzi schemes, okay? Uh, with the Novatech FX, they started uh, banning Canadians and closing their accounts in Canada and then coming, coming up with, you know, Reverend CEO said, cock and bull story. Oh, we paid them all, but then a whole bunch of, Can all the Canadians got screwed right off from the get-go of when they made the turn and started to decline. Why does this happen? It happens when, well, it's not rocket science, it's when withdrawals start exceeding deposits they start running out of money so then they start looking for ways to cut corners and the biggest corner that i seen that they could cut is with ed zimbardi but they probably figured that the guy wouldn't go in a public and start doing a rant about them because it's just going to make matters worse it's going to scare more people away from qop ai uh and people are going to start pulling out their money once that enough people start pulling out their money since there's no real trading or ai bot it's just network marketing recruitment it's going to collapse completely and it's fully going to rug pull i would say rug pull for q o p a i has commenced okay if i get any more information i will be sure to share make sure you subscribe click on the bell notification icon please like and share this video also anytime throughout watching this video if you're looking for a legitimate way to create a full-time income online, get access to my number one recommended opportunity. I used to be a burnt-out trucker, turned my life around. Uh, I used to work up to you know, 60, 70, even 80 hours per week, got fed up with that lifestyle, came online, plugged into a system, learned some skill sets of you know, creating an income-producing activity, and partnered up with a legitimate opportunity set up for the long term. Okay. Uh, get access to my number one recommended opportunity underneath this video because you know I'm not anyone special if it can help a person like me who used to shift gears for a living right make an income online a full-time income online nonetheless it started out slow but then I built it up and eventually it was sizable enough to make my breakthrough so if I can make my breakthrough and that was just me standing in front of a big rig right no one special I'm thinking you can too Anyways, get access underneath this video. First link below. Anyways, guys, I will see you on the next one. If I get any more news about QOP AI, I will be sure to share. Take care.